Nice to see you. So my version is a bit different from the original and uh, what I want to tell you is uh, maybe you're interested in this rhythm and you can develop it. I'm practicing it, I'm practicing it and uh, I'm far away from being perfect. I have my thumb pick. Use for example when I start with the A minor chord. The bass note, the A and with the middle finger the B string. Then I strum with my forefinger. Down. So once again, thumb, middle finger together. Strum. And then. Not easy to explain, I tried to do it again. finish with a bass and the middle finger again. I try to show you very slowly what I do, it's really hard to explain, I realize. After having strung down, I pluck the B string and again go to the bass. And then I use my middle finger, try to do it as slowly as I can. Again, thumb, middle finger, downstroke, B string, thumb, middle finger, downstroke, upstroke. The last one is, an, is only the B, it is not a real upstroke. to learn on this and if you do it for the first time you could do it without a thumb pick you can do it I think with uh, the thumb as well well then when I start with the song I play the C major chord lift my forefinger I have a C major 7 and my pinky goes here to the C9 once again Same thing, only the 
bass note here changes, and then before the verse starts, I pick A, D string, G string, kind of A5, and then a G, only, only with forefinger and middle finger, and then we are in the melody of the verse. I do this again. Or the other way around, it doesn't matter. Well, I close. A minor, G. Minor, but with B and E string. And then the G. And then I use a D minor 7 chord here. Middle thing on the 2nd fret of the G string. And I bar the B and the E string. The whole melody of the verse. with the D. Listen. Now I try to get both things together, rhythm and melody. sharp in the bass. Use my thumb here. G. I'll leave the D where it is. And the A minor. Last in the wind. And I use the B and the G, which means the third fret on the E string. And start again. I think you have to find out the rhythm, and once you can do that, you can try to get into the chords, and then you can, the next step is to find the melody notes. The melody notes, I only play them with the middle finger.
the whole melody, um, the melody notes for them I use my middle finger. So now I realize this is not easy and um, you maybe have to check it on your own how you can use this. I hope it is a bit of an inspiration and uh, I am waiting for the time when um, you play something on the guitar and directly can make a chap out of it with a software or whatever. So maybe if you got an idea about that, if a thing like that exists already, please let me know. Okay, for today I say goodbye and uh, well, till next time, thank you.